On today's episode of The Joy of Editing, we're going to be taking a look at the photo restoration neural filter found in Photoshop. This is brand new. It's still in beta. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Did you know there's a photo restoration filter in Photoshop now? This is the latest release of Photoshop. This is Photoshop 2023. And this filter is still in beta, but it does a really nice job. And we're going to take a look at it today. I asked my wife if she had any old photographs that were kind of damaged, and she gave me this one. And she wanted me to see what I could do with it. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to see if we can restore this image. Let's go ahead and launch the neural filter and get started. Just come up to the menu and click on filter. And you're going to find it right here, neural filters. When you click on that, neural filters are going to open up. And you got a bunch of neural filters in here. And I've looked at some of these in the past, like depth blur and style transfer really cool filters but down here we have restoration and we have one for jpeg artifacts removal maybe someday i'll get a look at that one but then we have this one called photo restoration so we're going to see what we can do with this i'll just click this toggle right here and turn it on and it will start to process now it does process this on your device by the way now you may have to download this filter if you have this little cloud icon next to the filter just click on that and you'll have to download it first if it isn't already there for you hey and by the way don't forget to like share and subscribe if you subscribe every time i upload a new tutorial you'll get notified and also please leave comments and questions i'd really love to hear from you let's get a look at this filter now it's pretty easy to use there's not a whole lot here you'll notice we have photo enhancement we have a slider for photo enhancement and it defaults at 50. we have an enhanced face adjustment and a scratch reduction adjustment and then we have some other adjustments that are found inside of here if you click on this arrow right here we can remove noise with this noise reduction adjustment we can remove color noise if we have a color image with any color noise we have this halftone artifacts reduction i'm not 100 percent sure what this is i haven't really found a need for it at this point but as I do some more research, I'll let you know as soon as I find out. And then if you have a JPEG image with a lot of JPEG artifacts, we can reduce those artifacts with this adjustment. Today, we're not even going to be using these adjustments. And if you'll look down here, you could see a before and after if you click right here. Here is the before and here's the after. So right now, all we're doing is photo enhancement. But you can see the image looks a lot more contrasty. It looks a lot more clear, in my opinion. And it just really looks a lot better. But I might even give it some more. So I'm going to come over and click right about here and give it a second. And that's looking even better. I really love the contrast that we're getting here. And I found you can be pretty aggressive with this uh, let's give it a little bit more and see what we get and let's even take it the whole way up yeah so even the whole way up it still looks pretty good i would probably back that off to probably about here let's not be over aggressive here but i think that looks good let's check out this enhanced face adjustment i'm going to zoom in now we have some tools over here i'm going to click on this zoom tool and just zoom into the image a little bit maybe right about there all right, and we also have a hand tool. If you click on the hand tool, then you can move the image around. Let's make sure we can see all of the faces. And let's take a look and see what happens when I enhance the face. Let me start to drag it over. Let's drag it over about this far and give it a second to process. And as you can see, it's really enhanced that face. Let me shut it off. See how, see how blurry that has gotten? But look how that has really enhanced that face. Now, I think you got to be careful on these adjustments. You could go too far and get some weird looking looks on this image. But let's take this over the whole way to the right and see what it does. Actually, it doesn't do too bad of a job. It gets a little crunchy around some of the faces, but it really brings out the details in the eyes. Now, these, this eye up here looks a little not right. So let me pull this back. Let's go back to about here and see what we get. Okay, I think I could use a little bit more. Let's go up to about here, maybe a little bit more. So you got to play around and make sure you get things looking right. And I think right about there looks good. So far, we've come from here. And now we're at this point, and I think we're going in the right direction. So I think I'm satisfied with the enhanced face at this point. Let me go ahead and zoom back out. What you need to do is hold your Alt or Option key down. I'm just going to left click with my mouse two times. You can also click and drag if you want. 
And now let's get a look at the scratch reduction because this is what we're all waiting for, right? We want to see, can we get rid of all these scratches and tears in this image? I know it's pretty bad, but can it do it? Well, let's see. Let's start to drag this over to the right. I'm going to go right over here to around 25 and see what we get. Give it a chance to process. And it is processing on the device. Now, this takes a little bit of time because it's doing a lot of work and it's using its artificial intelligence to try to remove all of the scratches and so on. It's done a really good job. It hasn't removed this tear right here, but it looks a little funny here. Let me go ahead and click a couple times just to zoom in here. See, it got rid of this eyebrow over here and there's a little bit of bags under the eye that's gone. So I think we're too aggressive. I'm going to back this adjustment off a little bit. So I'm going to come right about here to a 13 and see what it does. And that looks better. Now I can see a bit of the bag under the eye here and we can see the eyebrow is back. I'm going to grab the hand tool and I think you can type H to get the hand tool. Yeah, you can type H to get the hand tool and let's zoom around. Now, there's some areas back in here that I think we can still get rid of. You can see the rip on the hair. And then there's uh, other little areas that it hasn't done so good of a job on, but it's done really well. So what I'm going to do next is send this back into Photoshop. And I have a tip for you. Right now, it's on current layer. But if you click this drop down, you have some choices here. In other words, current layer, or we could send it to a new layer. And that's what I want to do. Simply click OK, and that gets us back into Photoshop. I want to double process this. So what we're going to do is come back to Filter and go back to Neural Filters, and we're going to go back and turn on Photo Restoration. I'm going to take the Photo Enhancement and shut this off because I've already done the Photo Enhancement. I don't have to touch the faces. They've already been done. All I want to do is get really aggressive on this scratch reduction. I'm going to take this scratch reduction filter and drag it the whole way over to the right. Give it a second to process. Actually, a few seconds, more like probably about 20 seconds. This takes a little bit of time. I went ahead and cut the video so you didn't have to wait for that. Now, I know what you're saying, Dave, you really went over the top here, and I did, but I have a reason for it, and it's part of my tip. But let's take a look. Here's the before. So you can see it's helped this tear in the hair. It's fixed this a little bit. It's still there. Here's the after. So it's better. But other areas, it's got rid of a lot of stuff back here. It's removed detail in some of these areas off the clothes, which is not a good thing, but that's not going to be a problem. But let's take a look at the after one more time. At this point, I'm going to click OK and send this back to Photoshop. Back here in Photoshop, you can see here's our result on layer two. If I shut it off, you can see before we sent it and here's after. But what I'm going to do, and this is my tip for you, hold your Alt or Option key down while clicking on this mask icon. That puts a black hide all layer mask on this layer. Next, get your brush tool. Just type B. That's a shortcut for your brush tool. Get a nice size brush with 0% hardness, a nice soft edge. Make sure you're painting with white paint. Right now, I'd be painting with black paint. That would do me no good because it wouldn't change anything. Type X, that'll get you white paint at 100% opacity, and now we can just repair any area that we want with that brush. And we don't have to worry so much. Uh, we're gonna stay away from the clothes, like down here, little areas here, right in here. Let me see if I can get this off of her leg. Now, that's not going to come off. There's some things down here that I can get rid of. That's part of a chair right there. And that's pretty good. And I think I'll settle for that. We're not done yet. The next thing I want to do is get a blank pixel layer. So click this icon. You're going to get a healing tool, spot healing tool. Just type J in your keyboard to get a spot healing tool. And I'm going to zoom in so I can get a good look at the areas that I'll be working on. And let's do some cleanup. I'll make my brush a little bit smaller and come across this tear. Get it a couple times. I love the spot healing tool. It works really well. Sometimes you have to hit things a couple times to get it to really work right there. And then we can clean up little things like this and this over here. We can get rid of that very simply. This mark on the arm right here, we can get rid of that. And just really go over your image on the leg right here. You know, looking for all the little spots. Here's a little spot right here. Here's a spot on the chair right here. And 
this is the chair back here. There's a couple little things down here, but you get the idea. Just go over it and make sure you find all those areas, and I think we're looking good. Now, I got to fix this up in here. There's a couple little spots, one spot right here and one spot right here. I'll show you how I take care of this next. First, I'll zoom back out. And what I want to do is pull this entire image together. Now, there's a shortcut, and I'll put that up on the screen for both Mac and Windows. But I'm just going to use my action on my TK8 combo panel. And that's this button right here. And that pulls it all together in a new layer. Next, I want my lasso tool. I'm typing L on my keyboard. You can see there's my lasso tool. And what I want to do is just lasso around this entire area right here. Now, this is something new in Photoshop 2023, and I love this. You can right-click inside of this selection. And if you come down here to Delete and Fill Selection, click on that, and it'll repair that just like that. Isn't that cool? Really fast, really easy. That's a really welcome new addition to Photoshop 2023. Now I'm almost done, but can you see this like little thin line that comes down here and on this side over here as well? I'm gonna get a marquee tool. So click this icon. And what I wanna do is just come down here and select that little area. I'm gonna do the same thing, right click in here and delete and fill selection. And just like that, it corrects it. And then I'll come to the left side and do the same thing. Make sure you stay away from the dress or you'll have an issue. But make a nice thin selection down through here. Something like that should be good. Right click inside of that selection and delete and fill selection. And just like that, it heals that. And then let's come down here to the bottom and do the same thing. Right click, delete and fill selection. I love this new delete and fill selection it does a great job well let's take a look at the overall before and after i'm going to option all click on the background layer here's the before can you imagine we came from this image and now we're looking like this all thanks to that new photo restoration neural filter found in photoshop 2023 if you haven't downloaded photoshop 2023 yet do yourself a favor and download it well, there you go, everyone. That was the photo restoration filter found in Photoshop 2023. If you have any old photos, why don't you go ahead and give it a try? Hey, if you enjoyed this tutorial today, please give it a like, share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.